it feeds on itself. Everyone else is excited, so you have to be excited. And because you're excited, everyone else is excited. So it's, uh, it is kind of a funny phenomenon. I think part of it has to do with a lot of Ivy League alumni work in New York and come out for the race. So you see people who you don't see that often, and that makes it more exciting. And uh, the schools are all close enough here that you get a lot of fans driving in from the local areas, I think. And so just the crowd, the fact that everybody else is excited, and the fact that it's been here for so long. There's so many great runners that run here. And, and uh, everybody kind of wants to put their stamp on, on their tenure. So. Michael Mogg made his mark at Heps in 2007, winning the race as a junior. This year, Mogg ran even faster than he had last year, but he settled for second as Dartmouth's Ben True ran the five mile men's course in a blistering 23 minutes and 59.6 seconds, a new HEPS record. With Princeton runners Ben Sittler and Brian Leung placing fourth and sixth, respectively, the Tigers held an early edge, but a string of Columbia runners soon followed, and Princeton had to hold its collective breath as the scores were posted. In the final tally, the Tigers edged the Lions by three points. We uh, weren't sure how they finished, and we're getting our stuff on over at our tarp. And we're looking over, we're looking over what was the result, what was the result, and we hear all the cheering and fist pumping, and we see orange jerseys like up and down there, and we were like, yeah! and that definitely just sent, that lightened our mood so much to see a little celebration. The Princeton women would soon have a celebration of their own. Liz Costello won the HEPS individual title for the second straight year, breaking the five kilometer women's record with a time of 16 minutes, 59.9 seconds. Behind her came teammates Megan Brandeland in second, Riley Kiernan in third, Alexa Glenser in fifth, and Sarah Cummings in sixth. The Tigers' team score, 17 points, broke the previous record low by six points. Only the first five runners count in the team tally, but for the record, nine Princeton runners finished in the top 11. Next up for the Tigers, the NCAA Mid-Atlantic Regional Meet, November 15th, on Princeton's home course at the university's West Windsor Fields. For Costello, it's a day that's been on her mind since practice began in August. And I've been thinking about it for a while, just out of excitement because it's on the home course. Really just thinking about the home crowd. and. Uh, I just can't wait for friends and family. Um, I live very close to Princeton. I live about an hour away, so I really hope that people from my home and at school come out to support. And I'm just envisioning massive crowds out on West Windsor Field. <laughs> so hopefully that little dream comes true.